Welcome back. So, where we last left off, I had just uh, made a bunch of stuff in layer 2 for my overworld. So that's all of this. As you can see, I just decorated it some more. And that's going to replace the main overworld up here. So, before we actually do that, we're going to do a few other things. The first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all the existing events. So to do that, I'm going to go to layer 1 event mode. I'm going to press page up and go all the way till I get to the very end. So there we go, it says at end, event 77. And I'm going to take my cursor, highlight absolutely everything, and press delete. So that gets rid of all the layer 1 events that were already there. I'm going to do the same thing on layer 2. So I'm going to go layer 2 event editor mode, highlight everything. I'm already at the last event, so I don't need to do the page up thing press delete. Very good. So now I'm going to go to layer 1 and I'm just going to get rid of all the layer 1 stuff in this section of the map because that's what I'm replacing. Okay. Now we go to layer 2 and I'm just going to take this whole thing and paste it up here and there we go. So now I've replaced my main overworld with uh, my new my new layer 2 thing. So you'll see that there are still some things left over. There are some little fishies and some ghosts and, and things like that. Those are sprites so um, we can move those with the sprite editor. So I can try to move them away but you'll see they only go a certain amount. The other thing you can do is if you go up to uh, Overworld and down here it says Edit Sprite List. So we can say nothing for a lot of these and say OK and some of them disappear. Let's see what else there are. There's another fish and there's another ghost. Uh, let's just get rid of some of these. So some of these just go away like that. Very good. Alright, so now we can start playing with layer 1. So we're going to put some levels in, we're going to put some paths in. So I'm going to go to layer 1 editor mode and I'm going to click on the 16 by 16 overworld tile selector. Now, if you recall back when we were working with layer 2, there was a section beneath all of the maps here that had some stuff in it and I said don't change it. Well that's because this tile selector window has those things. It literally pulls directly from what you saw on layer 2. So if you made a change to one of those things on layer 2 and then you open up this window you'll see the change reflected in here. So that's why unless you've got a really good reason just don't change anything there. So uh, there are a lot of blank tiles here. They're not actually blank if you press on this button to reveal the paths again, you'll see that they've got paths in them. It's just that paths are by nature invisible. Everything that's actually visible is on layer 2. The paths are invisible. So when paths are not uh, enabled like that, all you see is blank. So for right now, that's okay. So we're going to put a Yoshi's house because it's customary to start in Yoshi's house. We all like Yoshi. Yoshi's a cool guy. He eats enemies and doesn't afraid of anything. Next, I want to have, uh, let's put a yellow level up here. And uh, again, you might have to press the delete key once in a while just to uh, clear the cursor. Now, I'm going to reveal the paths for a second. And I'm going to make them transparent by pressing the zero key. So you'll see there's a whole bunch of level tiles here of various kinds. Uh, there's red ones and yellow ones, there's underground ones, there's some ghost houses and things. The ones that are faded, let me do this, the ones that are faded are uh, invisible on the overworld map until they become revealed. However, I think you can actually make the regular ones invisible also. But in any case, uh, the other main difference between some of these duplicates that you see in here, some of them are surrounded by green and some of them are surrounded by blue. And when we get into placing the paths, you'll see how this works. All the green paths are um, land paths, so Mario will be walking. It will use the walking animation. 
all the blue paths it'll use the swimming animation so it's important that you use the appropriate color path so I'm gonna put a water level in here so I'm gonna choose a yellow level with blue surrounding it and I'm just gonna paste it in that's a good spot and then let's do a ghost house just for fun and games we all know how much I love ghost houses and then uh, we'll do an underground kind of over here ish and I want to demonstrate a few other things so I'm going to find a pipe we'll put a pipe here and I'm gonna make this pipe go to the Valley of Bowser so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete a bunch of stuff over here in the Valley of Bowser without deleting the castle itself because the castle looks pretty awesome there we go bunch of stuff deleted uh, I'm gonna delete this castle just to show you about how to put in a castle because putting in a castle is a little bit different so let's get another pipe and put it there so the castles are actually two tiles there's the bottom of the castle let's get rid of the pads there's the bottom of the castle like this and then there's the top of the castle which there's actually two of them it's a separate tile and there's two of them the difference is this one of them is here it's got green path on it and the other one's down here it has no path on it so in this case we're gonna use this one because when you beat this castle you're gonna go up to Bowser's castle next and we need there to be a path so there's a path behind that one so one more thing we need a switch palace because I'm gonna put a switch palace up there so I'm gonna choose I'm gonna click in here just to get the palettes correct and I'm gonna choose a yellow switch palace and I'm gonna put it way up here above the ghost house like that Oops, like that very good so now let's reveal the paths and let's go ahead and make them show up a bit brighter so now we need to put pathways between the levels and this will take some time you're gonna have to play around with this just a little bit to get used to it So I'm gonna put this here and let's see is it this one yeah that's the right that's the right angle but it's gonna be kind of offset like that Put this one here it doesn't matter what order you put the path tiles down However, when we get into putting down events, it will matter which order you put them down, so um, just be aware of that. So there we go, we've got a path from Yoshi's house over to this level over here. Now it's very important that your pathways are lined up as best as possible. You can see down here in the Star World submap that some of these paths don't quite touch the level tiles perfectly but they're pretty close. I try to get them as perfect as possible because if they're not, uh, weird things can happen. So I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, we are going to come down from this level into the water. Now, when I place the next tile down, I'm gonna choose this tile over here. It's green, which means it's on land, but you'll see it's got these little black uh, lines across it, these, this kind of stripe effect. What that means is it's going to use a climbing animation so I want to have that climbing effect when Mario goes up and down that little section there so let's find some water some water paths so I'm choosing blue ones now I need this one I'm pretty sure I need that one there's one more I can't seem to find it that's one of the reasons I don't like working with the overworld is it's straining on the eyes. It's very let's try that one. Yeah, that'll work. So again, it doesn't line up quite perfectly, but it'll work for our purposes. And then we need to go to the right. Where is it? There it is. Aha. So you'll see over here because the overworld because the layer 1 tiles are 16 by 16 and the layer 2 are 8 by 8 sometimes you'll have to uh, make some adjustments on your layer 2 so that things like this don't happen because when Mario 
touches this land part here, there'll still be a bit of swimming animation. So I'll go ahead and fix that in layer two in just a second. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'll have to put that one back in. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this.